everyone, this is Jean, and we are in Missouri on the Lake of the Ozarks. So we're in a little different setting today, and we're here with Dick Olick of Consultants in Cleaning. So thank you, Dick, for inviting us to your home, and it's beautiful, and if you hear any boats in the background, that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. on the lake. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the summer season for yes. boating, yes. 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 So w our topic today is actually not quite such a fun topic as yeah. boating and, and being on the lake, but we're gonna talk about employee discipline. And this is a topic that a lot of cleaning business owners really struggle with. And I know that I had my own struggles with it when I first got into the business. And actually when I first got into management in general, the I had a career before the cleaning business. And my first management job, I was in a management training program <laughs> And I don't recall ever getting any training on how to discipline employees. So I wasn't very good at it in the beginning, and I wasn't very comfortable with it. And a lot of us aren't, because it's not something that is just generally right. pleasant to do. Now, Dick has a CD uh, on this topic about discipline, and he covers 11 very important points that you need to know when disciplining employees. And so we're going to talk about two of them today and two of the very important ones. And the first one is to consider all circumstances before disciplining. So can you talk about that? I'd be happy to because that's, uh, that's one thing that when we, when we tell an employee, you know, here's the policy. They can't be late for work, for instance. And uh, so, you know, being new and maybe you haven't had a lot of training, you say, oh gosh, they were 15 minutes late for work, I'm going to discipline. Well, look at the circumstances. You get one, one employee that comes to work 15 minutes late, you ask him, why are you late? He's, well, I was out partying last night. Yesterday was payday. We had a, I went out with the boys, and I didn't get in until 3 o'clock this morning, and then the alarm went off, and I, you know, I, you know how it goes, Dick. You know, I just didn't get here. And so what do you do in a case like that? And then here comes the next employee, and he says, oh, you know, Gene, I'm sorry I'm late, but, you know, my wife had a, had a heart attack, the ambulance had to come, we took her to the hospital, and you know, time just got away, and, and I didn't call, I know I was supposed to call in three hours ahead of time, I didn't call in, but I didn't make it, and, and please forgive me, you know, whatever. And, yeah. and so, the, the question I have is, uh, if you're gonna discipline now, would you discipline them both the same way? You know, you got one person that just was late because they were partying, the other person that was late because their wife had a heart attack. Are you going to handle it the yeah. same way? You know, and we talk a lot to people about, well, you have to have a policy on this, this, and this so that you can enforce yeah. your policy. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, I'm not going to discipline the person who was sincere and very, feeling bad that he was 15 minutes late when his wife was in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. So that's totally yeah. different. And you, you know, my, qu my comment would probably be, what are you doing here? You ought to be at the hospital. Exactly. Exactly. So, so anyway, that's that's one that we do cover and, and in some detail. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the most important things that you need to do when it comes to discipline is document, 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 document. Yeah. <laughs> we say it three times for emphasis because <laughs> you need to document. <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, and that's one really gets us in trouble because you know all of us, I guess, at one point or another, you know, we've had it. We finally have had it. You know, somebody's been doing something wrong all along, and tonight we've just, it's it. You know, kind of like when you blow up at your wife or your husband or your kids, you know, you just, that's it. It's over. And you fire them. They go get, they go apply for unemployment. Guess what? They're going to get it. They're going to get it because there's nothing in the file. Right. So the first time something happens, whatever it might be, even if it's minor, you have to sit down and discuss with them what the deal is put a note in their file or whatever the circumstances are so that now they go on, finally you do terminate them and here's four different write-ups in the file. Mm -hmm. Your chances of winning that are going to be much greater than if there's nothing there. Yeah. And so we document, we document, and if all that fails, we document. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so um, w when it comes to documenting as well, um, <laughs> You know, one of the things that happens that, in my experience, is that if you don't document, if you don't talk to them and then document it, a lot of times they don't even know they're doing something wrong. And so that's the other thing that go, can go wrong for you if you're not documenting. You don't want them to be taken by surprise mm -hmm. when you finally have had it up to here and you fire them and they had no clue that there was anything wrong. Yeah, and plus the fact if you let it keep going and going and going, it becomes the accepted standard by everybody else. Right. You know, let, let's use the example of being late. You know, if you let them come, somebody come in late, well, pretty soon everybody thinks it's okay. Yeah, you absolutely. have to document that they're late. So. 
All right, so Dick's got a lot more information on this topic, a lot more information just on the document portion of this. Yes. And yes. if you look underneath the video, we've got a list of everything that's included in the CD. So if you're having any problems with disciplining your employees, if it's a topic that you really struggle with, I really recommend that you get this because you're going to get some great insight from a very experienced former BSC and a man who's been in the industry for many, many years. And so um, it's really going to help you out. So. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming to the lake. We're Thank happy to you. have you. Thank you.